The centerpiece we are presenting this year is Circe by Desmarais. It's a French opera from the late 17th century who tells a story about Circe, the enchantress, who are welcoming Ulysse on her island. The libretto is indeed written by Louis Geneviève de Saint-Onge, who was a poet from the period, a rather well-known poet at the time, not the unique uh, female figure in, uh, in culture at the time, far from in France, but someone who had a special voice. I think we were immediately attracted to Circe as a piece, and then we noticed that the, the libretto had been written by Madame de Saint-Ange, and that gave us the idea of the theme of the festival, because we had just done the Francesca Caccini Alcina, the first opera written by a woman, and we thought, oh, we just discovered this great opera, and it was written on a libretto by the first female French librettist. The two of them are perfectly paired to base the festival around. The real substance of why that matters in this case is not just that it was a historical first, if you like, uh, the female librettist for the Paris Opera, but it also, when you're looking at the psychology of the main character, Circe, but I would say all of the female characters in the piece, they, ha they sort of have a, um, a kind of reality-based psychology that is really based on what the experiences of a woman really are. Aeoli is terrified when she is deposited on the island. Um, she's surrounded by unfamiliar things and creatures in the forest. Uh, and she's so afraid that she actually changes her mind and says, you know what, in spite of love, I can't go on like this. And she asks to be returned to where she came from um, and then the gods intervene and, and help her along the way. One of the things about this genre of French Baroque opera is that it's so unlike Italian opera. Usually with the orchestra, all we do is play the arias in an Italian opera. We highlight these particular emotions, and we're not really involved in the story so much. But French Baroque opera is very, very different because the fabric of French Baroque opera moves in and out of recit and into aria and into arioso. So for us, the orchestra is really involved in the character's psychological development in a much deeper way than in other music. The more we've rehearsed this piece, the more impressed we have become by just how clearly and sensitively he managed to set the rhetoric in, in the text. And just the variety of everything he was able to produce in this, from amazing orchestral music to um, beautiful choruses that are based on his experience as a composer of motets to all of these other genres that he managed to package into one kaleidoscopic opera.